and subtract large numbers. Before we start talking about borrowing or carrying, we want to be talk about two things that we should always do when we are adding and subtracting large numbers. I'm considering anything that goes into the hundreds digit to fall into this category. So first thing that you always want to do is be sure that you rewrite the problem vertically. Oftentimes you'll be given the problem horizontally and need to rewrite it so that your borrowing um, and carrying is correct. So I've taken this problem here and rewritten it. Rewritten it. Um, you can notice that this first, dig this first number only had five digits and this one had six. And so that I don't get confused when I'm carrying, I decided to put this digit, on this number, on the top. Here it's fine to, to switch the order. Order doesn't matter in addition. So I would highly suggest that whichever number has more um, when you're adding and when you're subtracting, that you will put it on the top if it has more digits. Um, and be sure that you match the place values. So you're going to line them up according to the ones digits, tens digits, and so on, um, moving from right to left. The second thing that you always want to do when you're adding and subtracting large numbers is to be sure to use estimation to check the reasonableness of your answer. Um, we talked about all kinds of estimating strategies in the last video and said that in, unless you're given some other instructions, one uh, foolproof way to estimate is by doing rounding. And so here someone did this problem and then they rounded to the thousands place because that's the biggest place value of the smallest number. And when they did the subtraction of the estimation, they got 77,000 which when we're talking about numbers this big is a pretty big difference than 63,000. So that would tell you need to go back and check your subtraction and it is in fact incorrect. Adding with regrouping, or another way that, uh, that you've probably heard it called is carrying. So I, I know that you've learned this before, but sometimes we learn an algorithm, which are steps of what we're doing, and we're not quite sure what the, why we're actually doing those things. So we're going to look at a simple problem to remind you about regrouping or carrying, and hopefully you'll um, take that, that, um, those steps into bigger numbers. So I've drawn here 593. You can see five hundreds, nine uh, tens, and three ones, and I've done the same here. Here are six hundreds, these are the flats, we're picturing base 10 blocks. Here are two rods and nine ones. And when we add, we always start from the smallest place values and go um, to the bigger place values. Now here, if I would, was going to add the three and the nine, you would get 12. Well, the problem is I can't put 12 in the ones place, so I have to take 10 of those pieces so I'm going to circle 9 down here plus one more. Those 10 um, base 10 blocks, I would then turn into a rod and add it in here in the tens, in the tens column. So I'm taking these, smushing them together, and moving that those 10 over into the tens. So it goes from 10 ones into being 1 10, which is the same thing, your equivalent. Then I'm going to add together my tens, and I can take that one and add it with these nine tens and make ten tens. Ten tens would smoosh together to make one flat or a hundred. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over. So I've taken my ten tens, that one plus those nine, and moved it over, and it's going to make a, another flat there in the hundreds. So those are gone into the hundreds column, and I'm left with two. I guess I should have gone back here and said I was also left with two ones. And then here in my hundreds column, I see that I have six hundreds, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm going to take those ten hundreds and turn them into one thousand, which in base ten blocks would look like a cube. And I have two of them left over here, and I have only 1,000. So let's look at how that turned out in the algorithm or the steps that you've learned. You are adding them together, 9 plus 3 equals 12. We say we put down the 2 and we are going to carry a 10. Then uh, 1 plus 9 is 10, plus 2 is 12. I'm going to put down those two 10s and carry a 100 into the 100s column. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 6 is 12. I'm going to put down a 2, and I'm going to carry a 
into the thousands column and then I have a sum of 1,222. So in summary, when the sum in a place is 10 or more, for example, here we had a sum of 12. When that happens, regroup the sum so that there is only one digit in each place. In other words, you can't put a 12 here. You have to regroup, take those 10 ones, and turn them into 110 and put it in the next place value.